What's up guys, Shade Tech, back at it again with some more Duel Links. Uh, so today we are going to be messing around and kind of, you know, just having a little bit of fun waiting for the, uh, the uh, WCS to start next month. So uh, what I thought we would do today is, um, this is kind of a, uh, a deck list I've been wanting to try out ever since the new box dropped and we got some Amazon as support. Um, so I figured we'd go ahead and play this and uh, see how it does. So I'm going to be running uh, three Amazona Swordwoman, uh, one Amazona Sage, one Chainmaster, um, three Amazona Fighter, uh, two Amazona Baby Tiger, might be the cutest monster in the entire game. Uh, we're going to run two Amazona Heirloom. Um, I have three, but I don't want to run three because it kind of just clogs up the deck a little bit and clogs up your back row. Um, but this card says, equip only to an Amazonist monster. Once per turn, the monster cannot be destroyed by battle. When the equipped monster attacks after damage calculation, destroy the attack target, which is a great effect, especially if you don't have Amazonist Onslaught on the field. Um, and, you know, with these Amazonist monsters having their own pretty unique and, you know, great effects, like Amazonist Fighter, where you don't take battle damage, or Amazonist Swordswoman, where it reverses the battle damage back to your opponent... Um, you know, having Amazonist Heirloom attached to one of these cards can really be devastating for your opponent because they're going to get destroyed, their monster is going to be destroyed, and you're not going to take life point damage. So, um, and Amazonist Baby Tiger just helps out with all of that because if he's in your graveyard or in your hand and you summon one of these guys, then you bring out a second monster onto the board. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll with this and see how it goes. Um... I can't guarantee you it's going to be great, but we'll have fun with it either way. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Um, all right. And uh, please, as always, guys, like and subscribe to these videos. It means the world to me. Uh, the support that you guys give me, I appreciate. Um, I will be doing a uh, giveaway for my... any any subscribers I already have and any new subscribers I'm going to be giving a giveaway before the WCS starts I'm going to be giving away a $50 either iTunes or uh, Android gift card your choice so that way maybe it can help you prepare for the WCS all right so what do we start off with here this is a good hand I'm not going to restart so let's go ahead and let's put Amazonist Swordswoman out and let's go ahead and get Baby Tiger out there too. Baby Tiger likes joining his friends. I'm going to go ahead and put Amazonist Heirloom on Swordswoman. And I'm going to set Onslaught. And let's see what they're running. Sorry guys, headphones were kind of tangled up there for a second. Alright, so I have saw this deck earlier, and I'm not exactly sure what it does, but basically it's like Restructor Revolution is what they're doing with it. So they're trying to get as many cards in your hand as humanly possible, and then they're going to use Restructor Revolution on you, so... kind of an annoying deck because I mean basically you're not doing anything you're just hoping that you know either their cup of ace lands on heads or whatever so it's a very annoying deck to play against okay well that was Probably the dumbest duel I've ever been a part of. So, great. Let's keep going. Sorry about that, guys. That that was just stupid. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically the deal, is you try to get your, you know, as many cards in your opponent's hand and then just hit this and, yeah, it's it's stupid, but whatever. If they want to mess around with that stuff, that's fine. They're just looking for cheap ways to win, just like they always did, like with um, Woodland Sprite or, you know, Taya Burn or Weeble Burn, for that matter, still going on. Somebody hit King of Games with Weeble Burn, which I thought was ridiculous, but everybody's always going to be looking for cheap ways to win, so. Uh, 
All right, so we start off not a terrible hand. We'll keep this hand because we got back row protection. So I'm going to summon Swordswoman. I'm going to go ahead and set Econ and set Wall of Disruption. And let's see what he's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Red Eyes. All right. You know, a lot of people are saying that they're excited that Duel Links might be bringing synchros. And honestly, man, I'm an old school Duel Links player, man. I don't... Synchros, I, I have no idea how any of that stuff works. So hopefully there'll be some type of tutorial on synchros or something. So we'll see, but I have no idea how it works. I'm going to go ahead and Econ, and I'm going to flip this guy. And let's go ahead and take out his back row. And we'll deal 500 points to him. At least we got rid of that other red eye spirit, so that's good. Polarization. Interesting. So he's probably running um, Red Eye Slash. Yeah, Red Eye Slash is what he's running. That's fine. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, oh, perfect. The great thing about Amazon's Onslaught is it totally defeats Red Eyes Slash Dragon because it banishes it, not destroys it. Let's go ahead and get Amazon's Fighter out here. That was a mistake. What you gonna do now, man? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh man, this deck is so like it's it's definitely a meme deck because it messes with the people, but it, it's fun to run, man. If you can get Amazonas Onslaught on the field, then, I mean, you're in pretty decent shape. I'm not even counting that first duel we had, guys. I'm just not, so. The good thing is I'm starting to see less and less Sylvans, which is great. Maybe people are getting tired of running them, you know. And of course, the moment I say that, we get a Sylvan player. All right, let's go ahead and put that on her. And set Wall of D, and let's see what he's going to play. This music is interesting, kind of like like uh, like old school jazz. You go right ahead, buddy boy. All right, there's Onslaught. I almost don't want to attack because I think that back row is going to be Ultimate Providence. And if I pop her effect, yeah, I'm not going to attack. 
Plus, if I get his... I don't want to put his uh, carrot weight champion in the grave. Come on. I don't have an option here. I have to. Yep, that works. So he's probably going to pop on slot. I love how people just, you know, like even in King of Games, they try hard. Like that's just, it's, it's hilarious to me that they're like, okay, I'm at the top. Now I'm just going to continue to try to destroy everybody. Like it's hilarious to me. Alright, well, I'm not playing the Sylvan game, sorry. Go get a life in a real deck. Yeah, I do get a little salty when I play Sylvans, but, I mean, they're for good reason. Sylvans, I mean, dude, they're just, I don't know, it's, it's just such a brain-dead deck. You don't have to strategize. You don't have to think. All you got to do is just flip your freaking monsters up. It's probably another Sylvan deck, yep. So he's running a mill deck, and it's not going to work. You're going to floodgate my baby tiger? Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on. What are you going to do, buddy?
So I need to be careful of needle sealing. I know that now. Do I risk putting another monster on the field? We'll see what he has first. All right, well, this is kind of getting annoying. This is probably a Dark Flare deck is what I'm thinking. Nothing I can do now but just keep attacking, so. And it's not helping him that I'm banishing all of his monsters because then he cannot summon um, Dark Flare Dragon. Sorry your plan ain't going to work, pal, but... Sorry, guys, that these duels don't seem to be very fun, but, I mean, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it at this point. There, finally, die. Ooh, we got a new Amazonus. Select one face-up monster your opponent controls during each standby phase as it loses 500 attack until the end of the turn. I mean, this could be good if you had, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, spike shield with chain. That, I mean, that could not be bad. Because then it would have, what, it'd have 2200 defense with spike shield? Alright, we'll go in and do one more here, and we'll see how it goes. Facing an Odeon. Going second. Man, I do not feel like working today, I'll tell you that. That's an unfortunate hand. We're going to restart. It's a little bit better. No shocker there. Floodgate probably incoming. No floodgate. I wonder if he's running um, the Vision Hero Witch, Ra Witch Raider, I think is what she's called. The one that you can tribute off traps to summon. Nope, just running a straight, just trap monster deck.
Well, none of those monsters have the ability to get over Amazon of Swordswoman at this point. I love Odeon's music. What are you going to do, pal? Yep, here comes the vision hero. Nothing I can do but econ take. Might as well get some damage off right here. We're not very, having very good luck drawing any back row protection at this point, which kind of stinks, but nothing we can do about it. <coughs> Does 1,200 to himself. There's Amazon. It's Onslaught. That's what we needed. Alright. Let's wait till this dude decides to attack us and we'll get rid of that Vision hero. I wonder if we can activate this. Let's just go ahead and activate it now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, the game's not so much fun anymore, is it? Oh, there's Baby Tiger. He's so ferocious. <laughs> oh, sorry, that made me laugh. Baby Tiger's so ferocious. Alright, let's go in and let's try to get rid of this guy. Come on. What what does that do? What does that do? That's fine. I don't care. Um do I want to go ahead and probably not cuz it's probably a trap card, so I'm not going to waste the life points cuz I think all oh, yeah, we can just add one monster. Yeah. Ooh, baby tiger is at a thousand. Look at that. Attack. Attack, baby tiger.
He's vicious. You better look out. He's ferocious. I know I'm going to take some damage here, but that's okay. Ooh. How much damage am I getting ready to take here? Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. I want to see this guy's deck list here. Interesting. All right. Well, I think we have time for one more, guys. Let's go in for one more. Sorry, I know it's kind of unprofessional to hear the lighter clicks, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what to say. Yes, I'm going to restart because I don't like that hand. Wow, what are the odds of that? Oh, wow. I never would have guessed. He's got a lot of Spear Karibos. I need to start running Spear Karibo more often, honestly, I think. I mean, I have three of them, but I just don't run them very much. All right. Yeah, bring your Rose Lover out. Yep, there we go. Good thing is we do have double uh, onslaught, so that means we can uh, get some monsters on the field. So which that'll be very helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, there's Chainmaster. I really don't think there's anything we can do here, guys, to win. Actually, I mean, we have it. We can have a chance, at least.
Okay, yeah, that's our only chance. I mean, that was our only play right there, so. All right, well, we lose, whatever. You win some and you lose some, guys. That's just how it goes in Duel Links, but I had fun playing this deck, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry I'm not, you know, the greatest Duel Links player on the planet. I mean, I'm trying to get better at putting decks together myself and not looking stuff up, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.